local music show with Tommy Gardner on Revolution Radio 96.1 FM. Welcome back to the local music show on Revolution Radio 96.1 FM and online with me, Tommy Gardner. And joining me live in Studio One is the amazing Elle Delaney. How are you? I'm very well. How are you, Tommy? I'm very well, thank you. And welcome to Revolution Radio. Thank you. It's very beautiful. I really thank like you. it. Thank it, you. We're very lucky. We're very lucky to be here in this nice studio. It's, it's good right. Vibe. It's good location, too, isn't it? Really good location. Yeah, Central, I just. Amazing. Mm. Amazing. So you've been busy. I've been really, really busy, yeah. Mm. <laughs> you, you have. You have with your own music, which we'll talk about. And also, yes. you have been performing in front of lots of people. I have, yeah, and I've been traveling up and down from London, like, constantly. Yes. Um, but it's it's been really fun. I guess, like, the past few months, all I've been doing is music. Yes. Which is what I've dreamed of for a long time. Amazing. So, yeah. so just about you then. So you're you're from Northampton, is that right? From Northampton, yep. yep born here. And you you live in London? Now I live in London. Yep. Um, I'm at uni at Goldsmiths. Uh, how's that Studying going? music. It's good. This year's intense. Yep. It's very, very intense. Um, yeah. I've, I've been made to feel stupid quite a few times, but in a really great way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like really <laughs> going to give you loads of information. Yeah. And you're like, ah, but um, yeah, it's really, really good. Oh, amazing. Yeah. And uh, with music, do you, because you, obviously you have your own song out now and you, you, I see you performing a lot mm. in front of people. What is it about that that you enjoy? Is it when you when you think of music to you, is it the live performance element of music that you find really appealing and, and enjoy the most? To be honest, I feel like music. This might sound a bit cliche and a yeah. bit cheesy, but is literally part. It's ingrained within me. Like yes. it's my whole life. Mm -hmm. um, music is who I am. It's what I do. It's my hobby. It's everything. So. Um, the love of music for me is just I have like this incessant need to make music and mm. to sing um and actually sometimes a live performing can be like a a negative <laughs> thing for that because <laughs> I get quite anxious on yep. stage um but I think I think obviously COVID had a massive impact because when you don't sure. do it for long a long time you know you sort of get out of the flow yep. You get more anxious um but recently since the summer i've been gigging quite a lot and um i'm starting to enjoy it more and more mm. so it's becoming a, a benefit and of I, the su job. I suppose with that with with covid it's sometimes you don't realize how much you enjoy something and miss it until it's all taken away from oh you. oh my god 100 percent. i mean for me it was actually not playing with other musicians yes. that was the biggest mm. hurdle for me um the music I really like to make and when I make the best music is when I'm surrounded by musicians who I really gel with of and course. the energy's flowing of and course. um so that was the hardest thing for me and it was just so good to get back in a rehearsal yeah. room. And yeah. talking about being around musicians, I remember it was a few months ago I saw you live with uh Jazz Colossus at the Deco Theatre. Ah, and yes. that was on stage, especially after the what we've all gone through over the last eighteen months or so the stage was filled wasn't it with with musicians yeah there was like i think there's 20 of them in jazz colossus mm. and then there was four of us singing i think y yeah, yeah it was amazing and yeah and you were all belting out the tunes and it was it was just everyone in that room could feel the atmosphere in it, there. Was it was very emotional yeah. after i like i wanted to cry like oh. i'm i don't usually get like emotional in front of like people i try not to yes. um i can get a, like, a bit anxious about showing emotions but like all the singers after we're all like hugging each other and like in tears because oh. we, we haven't been able to do that for so long yeah. and um yeah it was very emotional yeah oh, so it's going back to to you and your music uh, you've got a new single out yes i do and it's it's just been out a, a week or two now hasn't it um yeah i think two weeks two now, weeks now. Um, i think yeah yeah, two, two, weeks, two, weeks. <laughs> That's two weeks. Happy two week anniversary for the new single. Um, so it's a great track. We're going to hear a live version later, I believe. Yes. yes. Yeah, going to play a live arrangement for Amazing. you. Amazing. Yep. Amazing. And when you are writing music, mm. I always ask our guests this: How does that song come to you? Do you? Is it for you melody first and lyrics, or is it? different for me it's always it's always chords, chords. it's always okay. like a chord progression yeah. um the chord progression has to sort of like speak to me or sort of yes. like give me a uh like a reaction like a, in my yes. body and i have to feel it and then um lyrics and melody just kind of come to me more intuitively 
they just sort With of the like music already being in place exactly yeah. yeah um but it's actually something i'm trying to be a little bit more aware of like taking that intuitive idea and maybe sort of consciously mm. twiddling with it a bit more and being able to articulate what i want to say a little bit better of within course. music which uni's really helped with actually yeah. love that and yeah. um i talk about you in university and studying <laughs> yes um, for anyone out there on the radio and watching live actually i will mention this if you're listening to this on revolution radio right now head over to facebook um to the revolution radio page and you can watch us as well as here which this is amazing great. chat <laughs> um because we're about to move on to one of my favorite segments of this show it's the quick fire quiz are you really nervous uh, for this? don't be <laughs> nervous as i said earlier th- your chosen topic by me it's you is and i can't fail like you, you, said, ca- you can't fail 10 questions and yeah you should you should okay. get 10 out of 10 i'd be a bit concerned if you did fingers crossed fingers <laughs> crossed we'll see how it goes but question number one when you are not working or studying how do you like to spend your time i watch a lot of peep show and have a lot oh, okay. of baths a lot of baths and peep show yeah oh, but i'm okay. being very real <laughs> I wish I and I am a big reader okay but um but uh, yeah I'm not gonna lie no, that's a lot good. of peep show I like that I like that peep show you heard it here first <laughs> question number two what was the first concert that you ever attended um I think my mum okay. must have taken me to a million concerts when yeah. I was younger but first one I remember is when my mother a single mother mm-hmm. dragged me and my little brother to Glastonbury without wow. a car <laughs> that's cool (laughs) or anything with all of like we were carrying all these bags and went on shuttle buses and everything um and i remember hearing amy winehouse i remember seeing her and then i remember watching the verb as well up there those are probably the first that's good that's really cool really really cool and um question number three this is a good one what is your all-time favorite film so That's this is really a tough hard. on the spot, isn't it? Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. I tried to answer these questions myself once and on the spot. No. What film but do good I luck. love? I'm trying to think. What Do you know what my, one of my comfort films mm-hmm. is? Do you know Matilda? I do. I do. Oh, I do love that film. Yes. Yeah. Is that the, and there's a big cake in there, isn't there? A cake? Yeah, am I is right? there a cake? Yeah, there I is. There is in the school. Oh, when, yeah, yes. yeah. I obviously don't love this film. Uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't um, even remember the you story. Should, you should watch it. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> sticking <laughs> with favorites on to question number four what is your all-time favorite song this is so oh. hard this is so hard um not a song from matilda in the musical i don't think so I okay th- ma- maybe not the musical okay. um it might it might have to be oh, can i can i narrow it down to album you can you can thank you um Okay, I changed my mind. It's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe Violets for Your Furs, John Coltrane. Ooh, that's yeah, a good one. it's mm-hmm. uh, yeah. And beautiful. going back in time now, um, not too far away. Question number five: What is your first memory of music for your childhood? My dad was a metalhead. Right. Okay. And I remember he showed me the pro- the pro- prodigy. But pro- I can't even say yep. the, the band. Yep. But he was so I remember listening to Metalhead. But the first like song I remember was um, he played this pro- prodigy song, yep. and it had a swear word in it. Oh, okay. And I remember like learning how to swear <laughs> and then getting <laughs> by my mum. Yeah, <laughs> love that. Um, question number six. This is a fun one. If you could win an Olympic medal for any sport, real or fake, so it doesn't even have to be a sport, oh what God. would it be for? L Delaney wins gold in. I, f- I feel like I'm really good at like motivating people. Okay, this is, is that, good. This is, is good. Is that like a mental yeah. sport? Motivational sports. Yeah, I yeah. feel like I'm really good at like pepping people up. Like, you know, you can do this okay. sort of thing. Can I request like a message every Tuesday around 5.30 before we do the radio show? Yes. Just like, come on. Yeah. We can do this. Yeah, I, I would. Be guys, good. you can do this. I believe in you you've got this is but, that, uh, i feel better a bit already. dry amazing <laughs> question number seven if this is oh, i love this question okay if someone were to play you in a movie who would it be wow <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i'm not good with that act- oh, act- actresses okay. um 
let's just go with the girl who played Matilda again. It's the only one. <laughs> okay, the girl who played Matilda. <laughs> no, actually, Matilda. actually, Meg Ryan, but dye her hair. Okay, that's yeah, a nice one. Yeah, she's great. Question number eight. Where is your happy place? Um, probably mm -hmm. in my room when everything's like really like clean and I've got my Himalayan salt lamp ah. on and my candles and I've got some like you can chill out. bossa nova on and I'm yeah. just like reading my little book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Question number nine. What is the best piece of advice that you have ever been given or what piece of advice would you give to someone? Just in, in general life advice. One of my best friends, mm -hmm. Miss Anna Considine, yep. once said to me, lay down in the river. If you're ever going through a really tough time, often we don't want to feel emotion and we just want to be okay. Mm -hmm. But she said, lay down in the river, babe. And sometimes you just got to feel what you got to feel. I, that was quite, I like that. Yeah, I thought that was quite powerful. Yeah, we're, we're going to build up. I think we're going to have like a revolution uh, book of advice. I like we'll that. Wait a year yeah. And then we'll, yeah. Yeah. Each page. Oh, yeah. That's really That'd nice. And finally, question number ten. And I can confirm. So far, we're on nine out of nine. You, you've got Am more correct okay? so okay. far. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can get ten out of ten. Ah, oh, this. I need to remind you actually on this okay. question. We are live on the radio. Right. Okay. Yeah. So tell us something that we don't know about you. Exclusive. <laughs> trying to think what do we not know about El Delaney what do you not know about me I play the flute oh, okay <laughs> I feel like not a lot of people oh. know that I'm like learn like I started learning last year uh, was it a lockdown hobby um I've always wanted to do it but then yep. lockdown gave me the the space and the time uh, see I yeah. I was like that and I brought a guitar in the lockdown really wanted to learn how to play and I never got anywhere it's hard. Yeah. Guitar's quite Guitar's overwhelming. Really it's like, it's a lot of strings, mm, a lot of frets. Too many. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have got 10 out of 10. Thank you for Thank taking you. part in the wow. quick fire quiz. Um, we're going to play a song now from another local artist and then stick around um, because your amazing guitarist Julius will be joining us um, after this song for a couple of live performances. So next up, here is Joe Corcoran with his single, Your Wish. The Local Music Show with Tommy Gardner on Revolution Radio 96.1 FM. Welcome back to The Local Music Show, whether you're listening on Revolution Radio or watching on Facebook Live. I'm now going to pass over to El Delaney for the special live performance segment of this chat. Over to you. I think a lot of you might know this first tune. Um, for the old school R&B fans, <laughs> this is Foolish, Ashanti. <coughs> Days are cold without you, but I'm hurting while I'm with you. I know my heart can take no more, I keep on running back to you. See, my days are cold without you, hurting while I'm with you. I know my heart can take no more, I keep on running back to you. Baby, I don't know why you wanna do me wrong. See, when I'm home, I'm all alone. And you are always gone and Boy, you know I really love you I can't deny I don't know how I allow you to dream me this way And still I stay See, my days are cold without you Hurt and bothered with you I know my heart can take no more I keep on running back to you Days are cold without you but I'm hurt and wild I'm with you How can something wrong I keep on running back to you Baby, I don't know why you treat me so bad You say you love me, don't wanna hurt me And I was all you had And boy, you know I really love you I can't deny Days are cold without you, but I'm hurting while I'm with you. I know my heart can take no more, I keep on running back to you. Days are cold without you, but I'm 
So, next up, I've heard a rumour that we're about to hear a live performance of... FF5, Woo! you have heard correct, Tommy. Amazing. We are going to play an arrangement of FF5, acoustic. We hope you guys enjoy. Listen to my new single. <laughs> Delaney with FF5 live on Revolution Radio's local music show. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us. Um, how can our listeners find you on social media and online? So you can reach us on Facebook, Instagram. So this is Mr. Julius is Rich mm -hmm. on Instagram. And I am E double L E. 
but literally spell out before you. Amazing. And what we'll do, we'll, we'll share, we'll, we'll take a photo after the show and we'll, we'll put it on the social media oh, that'd be channels great. and we'll, we'll so put much. both of your usernames on there too. That'd be wicked. Thank you so much for having no, us. Thank you so much. You have been listening to The Local Music Show on Revolution Radio, 96.1 FM and online. 96.1. This is Revolution Radio.